Welcome back guys, Chris here, Westside Dive. Today, uh, I'm gonna show you how to do a real basic fin installation to a foot pocket. We get a lot of folks that wanna move on from the plastics um, to the carbon fibers or fiberglass or, or mixed composite blades. Um, as you can see, we have plenty of those. And so we have a variety of brands of foot pockets that will match the various uh, brands from the, the specific aftermarket fin that you want. Okay guys, the things you're gonna need obviously is your foot pocket that fits your foot and, and we will we'll run you through that make sure everything's nice and snug and not too tight. Um, the particular blade that you want to be installed into the foot pocket, um, again we customize this for you. You'll want a flathead screwdriver, a small one, to kind of wiggle things together. And this is the assembly kit for the foot pocket. Uh, we have white to match the white. Um, two screws and everything else that goes along with it. Guys, you'll notice on the foot pocket we have an area where there's two holes. Those are the, the screws uh, that will be attached to the, the blade that you're putting it on to keep the assembly kit tight and everything's going to be snug. And you'll also see on the foot pocket they have uh, what I call just arms, their arms. Um, with this particular brand, they have shorter arms. Um, which kind of match their, their blades, but you can use these on a lot of different uh, aftermarket uh, blades. First step we like to do is, is kind of rough up the, the, the surface area where the blade is going to be uh, rubbing or attached to the foot pocket. So we'll scuff this up. Um, we have a smaller piece that you can actually get inside the, the grooves, scuff that up a little bit. Um, doesn't matter what, what grit sandpaper you have, it's just, just so that the surfaces are, are a little bit um, roughed up. On the blade itself, you'll, you'll want to scuff up the areas that will be attaching to the foot pocket, which is basically this entire top area and part of the bottom. The reason we use a little sandpaper is because a lot of times we'll, we'll use glue, uh, we'll add a little glue. Some, some setups require only glue and no screwing. The glue helps with the bonding process, um, and if there's more groove, grooves on a, on a, on a surface, uh, the glue will kind of go in and create like a, a lattice, I guess, and, and just be more secure. Okay, next step is to insert the blade into the foot pocket. Um, flip the foot pocket over, and as you can see, these guys, they slide in really pretty easy. Uh, there's, a, there's a limit to where the, the back of the, the blade will go. Um, Sometimes you'll have to do a little shaping of the blade, but this particular brand is, is the same foot pocket, same blade. So you, as you can see, it slides in really good. Again, make sure it's all the way back. The next step is putting the arms onto the blade itself, the, the fin rails it's, itself. And these are simple. Basically, you just kind of wiggle back and forth, starting from the back to the front. And as you can see now, it's all nice and tight and secure. Make sure you double check both sides. If there's a little bit of a part that hasn't gotten on there, then just adjust it. Now you can see it's nice. Let's go to the second side and you just kind of wiggle until it's all nice and flush. Now you're ready for the next step. Guys, next step is the drilling of the holes. First thing you wanna do is always double check that the blade is all the way back into the foot pocket before you drill. Um, measure twice, drill once is the saying. Um, sometimes I'll measure, make sure the distance of the, the foot pocket arms are, are the same. Or you just give a little tug and make sure it's all the way back and then you know. Next step is to take your drill and to drill your holes for your screws. Not actually gonna do that today, but once everything's in alignment, 
Um, we, we will secure the blade, drill our holes, and then you're ready for the next step. After your holes are drilled, the next step will be apply the top part of the assembly kit. And then these guys, it's nice and flush. You'll feel it's, it's nice and flush there. Flip it over, take the other side. You'll see, you'll see the holes. Line that up with your, your base mount. And simply drill the holes, I and mean, drill the screws into, into the holes that are already drilled. One there, one there. The blade is now secured into the foot pocket and it's not coming out. Final step is um, putting on the side clips onto the rails. So this, is a little, this can be a little tricky. Sometimes you'll need to heat these things up or our little trick, we have two little tricks that we do. Sometimes we'll just a little soapy water, a little silicone spray. I like to get one, one side secure and then I'll take my flathead little tiny screwdriver to get it underneath and kind of wiggle that thing forward. And now you see it's, it's nice and secure. You can kind of move it to where you like from there. Add a little glue if you like. Um, depends on the, on the setup. And then basically repeat on the second side. Okay guys, that's a wrap for today. We appreciate you checking our video out. Please give us a like, subscribe to the page, and we'll see you next time.